very inconvenient um, when I'm trying to operate my camera and I have receivers and monitors that are attached with it. But the balance beam gives me a place to mount my accessories when I'm out in the field operating my camera. The equipment is so expensive nowadays, it's hard to find a quality stabilizing device that's not too expensive. Uh, my shots are often not very steady at all. To get a smooth pan, you have to be extremely careful with your camera and move very slowly. But with a balance beam, you can pan and tilt at a normal speed and not be worried about your shot being shaky. With the balance beam, the camera is already perfectly balanced, so you don't even have to worry about locking down your pans or your tilts. If there's a sudden movement in whatever it is you're shooting, you can quickly move to follow your subject and not worry about your shot looking bad. You don't have to worry about taking the time to unlock your tilt, and you can just smoothly follow your subject and get a good shot. Setting up the balance beam is a breeze, too. All you have to do is slide it on your tripod, and then slide your camera right on top of it with your Bogan quick release plate, and you're ready to go. stable on my tripod. Well, the balance beam allows me to take a smaller camera. It allows me to have the engineering qualities of a $35,000 camera. For the rest of us who don't have $35,000 to buy a well-engineered studio camera, there's the balance beam. With the balance beam, I can take my tripod, take all the tension off. And it allows me to make my pans and tilts, and they're all smooth. My shots are seamless. shooting with lightweight DV cameras and they tend to be a little harder to control. When I use the balance beam, it helps lower the center of gravity, adds a sufficient amount of weight to make the camera easier to control and it just makes my pushes, my pulls, my tilts and my pans a lot cleaner, a lot smoother. When you only have one shot, the balance beam allows me to get the results that I need.